Hi everyone, my name is Tawny Starius and I'm a yoga teacher here at Cal Poly's Recreation Center and I am looking forward to guiding you through a meditation together for 15 minutes and have some time to slow down and breathe. So I invite you to find a comfortable place to sit that could be in a chair or I'm on a yoga mat uh, with a blanket underneath me uh, with my legs folded. If this is accessible to you, you can come down onto the floor or the mat or sit in a chair wherever you find yourself most comfortable is important. And then I'd like you to just kind of find your seat so to speak, so you can kind of rock the hips back and forth or sway a little side to side and just find where your hips are meeting your cushion or your mat or the earth. And we'll start there into our seat, leaning back a little bit into the support of your own hips and your own torso. weight of the hips drop. Even the weight of the legs, the thighs, the knees, letting the lower half of your body connect to the earth. And from there, if it feels right to close the eyes and direct your energy inward and your attention and presence inward, I invite you to close the eyes. If that doesn't support you in feeling inward and connected, you can keep the eyes open. You can also keep the eyes just a little bit open, a little bit closed, finding that in-between spot that feels relaxing and safe. And I'd like you to become aware now of your spine, feeling each vertebra stacking Feeling this length in the spine. Maybe it's a sense of growing, like a tree that grows skyward or a flower. Feeling the side of the body growing long as the spine stacks. And feeling the crown of the head reaching towards the sky. Not in an aggressive way, forcing the body into any shape, but just feeling the full breadth and length of your own body. If it feels right for you to take your hand onto your heart, or both hands to your heart, Let's direct our awareness into the heart, into the chest that is breathing. Feeling the inhale fill the body, the heart and the chest. Noticing how the exhale, as the breath leaves, the heart softens, drops. Feeling literally with your hand or observing literally with your breath how the chest rises and falls, expands and contracts, ebbs and flows, and is always changing. Your being, your heart is always changing. And maybe it feels right right now to just feel your heart a little more deeply. Whatever it's been going through lately. Just observing what your heart has been feeling. Maybe recalling the day or the week that you had, the month, the year morning, and 
letting the heart speak. Letting the heart be felt. And breathing into the heart. And breathing out through the heart. And letting this breathing practice help connect to the vitality, the resiliency of your own heart. Feeling your breath start to soften yet strengthen, tone, and enliven your own heart. And breathing for you, breathing for your own heart, even opening up our meditation to be breathing for others. To be breathing fully for ourselves so that we can be fully there for others. Acknowledging this power that we have to give, both to ourselves and to others. And if it feels right to use a mantra or a word to support your meditation, now can be a powerful time to say, I give to myself give to others. Just repeating this mantra either silently to yourself or out loud. I give to myself. I give to others. Breathing in. Breathing out. Feeling those words ring true for you. Giving to myself so that I may give to others. And we use this time to connect to our self and to the great web of life that we are a part of. Maybe taking both of your hands together <clears throat> in a prayer or at your heart and feeling this sense of connection that you have with all other humans, with all living things. Slowing down to know that you are a part of this beautiful living ecosystem on planet Earth. Letting that sense of connection that you have to the whole world strengthen your day today. Knowing that you are a part, a vital part of life on earth. Taking a full cycle of breath and offering your meditation to your day to benefit you and all those that you interact with. Maybe starting to blink the eyes open, taking in the light around you. Maybe even turning the head, taking in the room that you are in or outside and just taking some time re-enter your day and re-enter your life revived and reconnected to who you are an intricate part of this web of life connected to others essential to others important to yourself and important 
to all those you interact with and even those you don't interact with, that you don't know. So my challenge, if you want any meditation homework, is to start the rest of your day with feeling this connection you have to yourself and to others. And see if it helps you be a different human, work a different way, listen with different ears, feel with a different heart, as we are all so precious to each other. I hope to meditate with you again, and I wish you well, and peace, and ease, and the remembrance of your interconnectedness to life. Thank you for being alive. Namaste.